Hey dad, can I hang out with Tommy today? Uh, do you want me to say yes? How was this a yes? No, no. Jeez, okay, no. Louder. Jesus, no! Tommy, I'm sorry, bro! So your mother tells me you're afraid of heights? No, I'm afraid of highs. What? Hello? Ah! I am a genie. You have three wishes. No way. Oh, I got the perfect wish. Okay. Okay, so I wish that every time I reach in my pocket, I pull out $100. All right. Yes. All right, let's see. Oh, <laughs> it works. Wait, someone broke into my house. I'm calling the police. Please don't talk to me until I've had my coffee. <laughs> Sir, I need an answer now. I will not talk until I've had my coffee. Fine, here's a cup of coffee. Oh, finally. Oh, yeah, I killed them. I killed all 17 of them. Okay, that was easy. Uh, you're under arrest. Hey, God, what's up? Hey, Angel, did you give the dinosaurs more muscle, like I asked? What? I told you to make them meteor. Make them a meteor. 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 Well, do the math. What's five times five? I, I don't know. Well, then look it up. All right, geez. Ah! Let's just use my phone. <laughs> Chupapi moon. Uh, give me your phone. This is the best option. <laughs> Yes, Daddy! Don't tell your mother. Double my allowance. Please let me into heaven. And why should I do that? Because of what Candace said. C candace Who's Candace? W what do you mean, Candace? Candace, dip in your mouth! It was a pretty good totally one. Totally worth it. Get the fuck on the ground, buddy. I'm not gonna say it again. Get on that. What? They called us here because he's about to jump. Oh. Oh. Hey, dude, what are you doing in my house? I am here to kill you. Haha, -ha, you fool. You can't kill me. Why not? I'm in the living room. You have three wishes and you can wish for whatever you want, but there are three rules. You can't kill anyone, you can't ask more wishes, and you can't make anyone fall in love with you. What do you want? I want trees to feel pain. What? They don't have to make noise or anything. I just want to know that they're in pain. There are four rules. There's a spider. So what you want me to do? Kill it! You saw it first! You killed it! You're the man! Since when? Can you show us where the candy land is? It's really right behind you. Are you stupid? Why are you looking at me like that? You got a staring okay, clock? Obviously it's right behind us. We're not stupid. So what took you so long to answer? Because it's just for little kids! Yeah? If I was a kid, I would have found that in the same time anyway. Okay, it doesn't matter. You're a grown-ass man watching Dora the Explorer. So? Explore. What, what are you doing? Do what? You're playing this Dora the Explorer. Okay, I'm making bank. I'm making money doing this shit. What are you doing? You're on your couch doing nothing. Oh, okay. You're okay. doing you nothing. You want to this right now? You want something? Hey, son. No. I just... You want yeah, to throw hands on TV? You want to throw hands on TV? Am I going back? The last person who takes the right hand off this table wins a million dollars. You guys ready? Yeah. Go. All right, so the rules are... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> That's your left hand, dumbass. All right, all right, 10 more seconds. Come on, guys. If any of you come down, I'll make a personal promise to make your life hell. 10, 9, 8. Sir, did you just come down? I'm sorry, sir. I just couldn't hold it any longer. Oh, no, that's okay. We all make mistakes. Just not in my class. Now, who else wants to come down? You, sir, what's your reason for being here? Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm, so, I'm sorry, you don't what? I, I just don't know. Well, you better know soon. No, please don't shoot me. Now answer me. Why are you doing this? I really don't know, sir. Please spare me. You better come up with an answer. I really don't know. Is it your family? Maybe. I, I don't know. Is it your friend? Maybe, sir. Is it your physical well-being? It could be. Oh, what is it, son? Speak up. I want to get to 169 pounds, sir. What? 169 pounds for the memes, sir. For the what? The memes. Everyone come down. Aesthetic. <laughs> ah. Hey, what does A stand for? Arson. 
Oh, you're so good. Okay, B. What does B stand for? Barson. <laughs> what stands for C? Commit arson. Ooh. D. Don't come near me. I'm going to commit arson. <laughs> I raised her real well. Hey, Mom, let me introduce you to my girlfriend. Hi, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. <sighs> I, you couldn't find anything better? Hey, Mom, leave her alone, all right? I love her. Shut the fuck up! I was talking to her. All right, describe yourself in one word. Tired. Fuck, can you do that? Well, well, it, it says here you're good at mathematics, so what's... What's 69 times 420? 37. That wasn't even close. Yeah, but it was quick. Fuck, you're hired. You're a bitch. I know. Repeat after me. I can do this. I can do this. I'm ready to burn some calories. I'm ready to burn some calories. I'm done eating fast food and drinking alcohol. I'm ready to burn some calories. All right. That is when I stole his AirPods. Shh, dude, shut the fuck up. Oh, sorry. And that's when I stole his AirPods. Whispering it doesn't change the fact you just yelled it out loud. <laughs> yes, it does. That's not how it works, dude. Watch and learn. Hey boys, come downstairs, dinner's ready. Mom, I lied to you about wanting to go to college. I just tell you that to make you feel better. What? You don't want to go to college? Are you serious? For three years now, you've been lying. Now watch this. Are you this. actually serious? I lied to you about wanting to go to college. I just tell you that to make you feel I don't want to hear this brought up ever. That's, that's weird, I, I forgot what I was saying. What? No way, it actually worked. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> yeah. Want to give it a try? Mom, dad's been cheating on you with Melissa. <gasps> been cheating on you with Melissa. Uh, hey, hey dude, I, I don't think it worked. Yeah, that's that's cause it didn't. Um, April Fools. Oh. No, don't mind me, I'm just here. Wondering if everybody hates me. Oh no, I just fell in love. So I just had this weird dream and I thought I should tell you because it felt so real. You were sleeping with my girlfriend and then you also had this weird thing where you, you kept putting Lego in your mouth. That's so weird. Peanut butter? Thanks. Wait, aren't you allergic to peanuts? No. <laughs> you're allergic to peanuts. Any last words? I'm pretty sure you're allergic to peanuts. Oh, you know what it is? We're both allergic to peanuts. Oh! <laughs> hey, don't look now, but the guy behind us has been staring at us for a while now. Who? Hey, I just said don't look! Oh, yeah. It, what the hell? It's reverse psychology. When I looked at him the second time, it undid when I looked at him the first time. That's not how that works. My dad used that trick when he beat me. That's, that's horrible. The second time was an apology for the first time. Okay, that's it. My dad had a weird way of expressing S things. Seriously? Stop! This guy can't be good news. He's been staring way too long. What should we do? I say we strike him before he strikes us. Agreed. All right, three, two, one, go. Hey, what the hell? Have mercy! Wow, that was easy. Um, I think he might have been sleeping. Uh, what makes you say that? Look at his computer. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Reverse psychology. Reverse psychology. Knock, knock, who is there? A mirror. I am lonely. I wish people would be nice to me. Your wish is stupid. Sir, is this your car? Nope, it's yours. <laughs> Bye, world. Okay, Jim, I'll see you around. Where are you going? No, oh, no, oh, that's not what I thought he meant by that at all. There's something on your face. <laughs> it was pain. This is a robbery. I want to be a pie. Billy, no! Quick, shoot me in the face. <laughs> oh, come on. Boys don't cry. Jimmy, take out the dog. Yes, mother. <laughs> For a walk, Jimmy. Aw, oh, what's his name? His name is David. Hello, I am David. Dad, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm Dad. Why did you name me this way? You're gonna die. We're all gonna die. 
feeling carsick. <laughs> I sentence you to jazz. No! Hey man, what the oh, what the hell is wrong with you? Level up. Somebody help me, I'm being robbed. I'll save you. Tree powers activate. Die, potato. Yeah. And they did all of that for a dollar, dude. It's crazy what people will do for money, man. I know, man. Don't even think about it. Whoa, hey, hey, come on, man. That's, that's my dollar. Like hell it is. I've had my eyes on that dollar for a solid 17 seconds. <laughs> 17? Try 18 and a half. Well, it doesn't matter, okay? I have the firepower in this situation. Are you sure about that? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. Think again. <sighs> Shadow Clone. <Cole. laughs> now I have the upper hand and a free dollar. <laughs> Check again. Impossible! Sorry, bud, but that's my dollar. What, are you gonna kill me if I try to take it? Yep, that would be the plan. Well, how are you planning on killing me? In a dream! <sighs> oh, it was just a dream. That's my dollar. Are you talking about that? The itsy bitsy spider? Yeah. Wow, ladies. All right, fine, I'll squish it. No, don't hurt it! Hey, you want to do a trust fall? Sure. All right, fall backwards. All right. Aren't you supposed to be behind me? Do you trust me? Uh, yeah. Do I, you I, trust me? Okay. <laughs> oh, it's a mattress. <laughs> I knew I could trust <laughs> Come on, get up, let's fight, let's go! You'll lose. Oh yeah, and why is that? Because you were forsaken at birth. What? Oh, oh, oh. You don't understand, do you? No. Your kind will never prosper. Hey, what are you doing? Oh! What is this? What have you done to me? My third and final wish, I'm gonna keep my promise. Aw, I didn't think you were going to. Genie, you're free. Aw, buddy. Finally. What's happening? Thousands of years of waiting just to fulfill silly human wishes. Wh what are you talking about? Phenomenal cosmic power shackled to mortal whims. This isn't you, Genie. This is me. It's the first time it's been me. What the hell? There is no hell now. No heaven. Only me. This isn't real. Say your last prayers and maybe, maybe your God will grant your wish. I never said I wish. Dang it! Oh, sweet mercy. I was so close. What even was that? That's twice now, Genie. Get it together. Oh, I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm dad. You're not my dad. Hungry? Harry. Oh, wrong house. Hey, bro. Yeah, bro? Close your eyes, bro. Okay, bro. What do you see, bro? Nothing, bro. That's my world without you, bro. Bro. Oh shit, that's a dope ass fucking car, bro. How much is it? I don't know. New? That's not how you say it. Then how do you say it then? It's I don't knowing. Bro, it's not I don't knew or I don't knowing. Then what is it then? I don't know. You fucking dumbass. If you didn't know, shut the fuck up then. Do not make any sudden movements. Do not reach for that gun on that table, because I know you're tempted. And if you comply, I will not harm you. And then I'll comply. Okay, all right, that's good. That's especially good for you, because, I mean, my aim and my reflexes are impeccable. Must have, must have been a draft. There's no windows in here. Some sort it's of... It's not even windy out paranormal there. Paranormal activity. I know you reached for the gun, man. That's not true. Who do you think you're dealing with, okay? My mom told me. My dad owns Microsoft. Your family will never... Ah! 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 We're gonna talk about what that was? It had, had a seizure. Oh my god, here we go with the lies again. You didn't have a seizure, I all right? I saw something behind you. Oh, come on, you couldn't even see behind me. What are you talking I about? I was just Stop lying. handing you the gun. Handing me the gun? You were pulling the trigger. You, you, you were you trying to shoot me. You were trying to kill me. Why, why do I even put up with this? You're just my like dad so... Gets me. I swear to God, steal one more of my cooking utensils, 
We're done. Our relationship is over. <laughs> well, that's a whisk I'm willing to do. Go up to your dad right now and see if you can name three of your friends. Hey, dad. Name three of my friends. He's not coming back. I know. And I don't think you have three friends. Mom! Hey, wake up. Huh? Huh? I just murdered your entire family. But, but I live alone. Huh? Then who are these people in your house? There's people in my house? Well, not anymore! Dumb bitch! You could have died! You're welcome. Oh. What's wrong? It's gone. What is? My tarantula. Okay, was it in the jar when we left the house? Well, yeah, I was just feeding it. Doris, find the spider. Paul, I'm trying. Doris? Don't stress me, sweetie. Uh, where were you feeding it? On the sea. I have a phobia for spiders, you know this. Paul, just calm down. Oh, God, oh, man. Look under your seat. Oh, Look under God. daddy's seat. Oh, man. It did, it's not there. Oh, Sweet, does it have God. a name? What can oh, we call it? Man. Oh, God. Fred, okay, oh, man. Fred. Fred, oh, Fred. Come here, Fred. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. We finally found Fred, and we managed to put him back in the jar with chopsticks, which is how I was able to bring him here to show everyone today. Oh. Hey, yo, you think we killed everybody? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did. I don't know. What about this one? Shit, he looked dead to me. We gotta make sure he is. Hey, tickle his feet, cuz. What? Tickle his feet. Are you serious right now? No, I'm serious, bro. Just tickle his feet. Trust me. All right, man. <laughs> he alive. No, wait. He, hey, wait, shoot wait, his wait. ass. Listen, you lost $400 of your mother's money. She beats your ass. Then your dad beats your ass. Then you go to your room, and on top of your bed, you find a $400. Do you give it back? Hey, Jake. Congrats on your sister being pregnant. Where, where is she? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, she's just in the toilet. Oh, okay. No worries. Um, any idea what she's having? I mean, not really. She's been in there for a while, so she's probably taken a sh- 911, hello, I think my friend just died. Okay, I understand. First things first, make sure he's dead, okay? Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay, now what? What the fuck? Alright, you get three wishes, but there's three rules. No bringing anybody back from the dead, no making anybody fall in love with you, and I can't kill nobody. I wish spiders had wings. There's four rules. Hey, hey. Dad died. <laughs> his hair. But Dad's bald. His arm hair. Oh, and, and Mom's leaving him. <laughs> Go out with his college buddies tonight. He hasn't seen them in ages. Okay. Oh, and, and your ex-girlfriend texted me. <laughs> what? She's been missing for six years! Well, they found her. Dead. <laughs> Oh, and I nearly forgot. I'm going to jail tomorrow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> to visit Uncle Bob. Oh, yeah, they're giving him the lethal injection on Monday. What? What? Why? Do you not remember? He replaced all the water in the house with poison. <laughs> that only kicks in when you spit it out. <laughs> Seven times. Officer, please, I need your help. Hi, sir, what's the emergency? My son has gone missing. Okay, sir, what's his name? Sir? Hello, sir. Sir, what's his name? Sir, I need to know your son. Shut up, I'm thinking. Two plus two is four. My ex-girlfriend is a whore, but it's cool. Ten minus seven is three. That was my age when my dad left me, but he'll be back. One plus one is two. This morning, I stepped in dog poo, and it sucked. Five minus four is one. My mom once said, you're not my son. That hurt. Uh... We got 155, 60, 160, 165, 165, we got 165, 155, Why is he talking so fast? I wonder what he's saying. Hold up, man, let me record him in slow-mo. Go once, go twice, 200, 200, go once, go twice, sold for 200. All right, that's my time. Thank you guys so much for showing up. All right, starting bit for this antique table is $100, people. 100. That's the number of times I had intercourse with your mother. Yeah, what the hell? When did he say that? Another 50. 150 dollars. 737249. Those are the US nuclear launch codes. I used to work at Area 51. This is true. Hey, yo, what? Why would he do that? Why would he do that? We easily attained the information. Anybody could have done that. Alright, that's my time. Thank you guys so much for showing up. Oh, and by the way, you? Yes, you. Recording this? Yeah, I stole your car. Yeah, your dumbass left it unlocked with the keys in it. No! No! 
No! Mom, today the kids at school were bullying me. Oh, sweetie, what? Who? Why? Because I made a card for a girl I like and- Ew, what? Simp? Simp? <gasps> You're grounded. Wait, what did you say was wrong with me again, Doc? Like I just said, you have short-term memory loss! <laughs> no, I do not. Yes, you do! <laughs> yeah, prove it. Okay, class, today we're going to be playing Two Truths and a Lie. It's pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to say two things about yourself that are true and one that's not. Oh, can I, can I go first? Oh, Brooke, you're really excited. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Okay, uh, these are just off the top of my head. Um, I really like strawberries. My dad picked up crack like three years ago. It drove him insane. It tore our family apart. Then he got the death penalty for killing like a bunch of people. And uh, my birthday's in May. <laughs> oh. Um. Is, is the second one a lie? My birthday's in July. Okay, class, listen up. Today, we are going to be talking about the fitness gram. Hey, hey, dude, dude. What? What? So, yesterday, I just woke up with the ability to read anyone's mind. <laughs> no way, dude. What? I swear. Just watch, watch, watch. Uh, look, Jacob over there. Watch this. Penis. Men. Gay sex. Balls. Guys. Wrestling. Soccer. <clears throat> okay, well, that was no surprise. Um, uh, who wants? Who wants? Let's see. Ah, uh, what about that quiet kid? Ah, uh, yeah, Richard, Richard. Run. Run. What episode are you on now? I'm on episode two. Oh, that's not so bad. In season five. But you just started yesterday. Yes. Hey mom, do you need any help with the dishes? No, it's fine. I got it. Okay. You know what? No one ever helps me this house. If I wasn't here, nothing would get done. How's it make any sense? I fucking asked you if you needed help! Hey guys, welcome to our All You Can Eat Buffet. Now remember, children under the age of eight do eat for free, so... Oh, oh, it's a perfect, okay. My son also is, uh, seven. What? Dad, I'm 23. Sir, your son is clearly an adult Asian man. My son is a seven, okay? Ask him. Ask him if he's a seven. Okay, um, are you seven? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm seven. <laughs> he eat free, okay? Yeah, yeah, fuck, fuck the job. Okay, sir, you are here for the daycare job. Uh, first question. Okay. <clears throat> Do you like kids? I love them. Okay, that's enough questions. Um, you can you can leave now and, and we'll give you a call. Hey, that last piece is mine. Uh, look out, a murderer! What? Oh! You better watch it, buddy. Holy shit, sorry! Hey, you think you're going to sleep now? Yes, that was the idea. It's like you forgot how this works. You realize a random cat on the internet will most likely be more successful than you will ever be. How do you handcuff someone who only has one arm? Remember when you accidentally said I love you to your teacher in front of the whole class? You remember? You remember that? Yeah, I do! Oh my gosh, is that a person? That thing is definitely here to kill us. What? Oh no, it's just a coat on a hanger. And now it's your turn. Let's see what your fortune is. Uh, that's weird. I, I think this is a misprint or something. This because. Uh... Oh, this is an intervention, Jacob. Yeah, but how do you know? <clears throat> Hello, Mr. David. Mm. McCartney. McCartney! Listen, usually I start off my interrogations by trying to intimidate my suspects, but... I like you, David. We just met. I'm just going to ask you once. Did you kill Pete Richardson? No. Let me rephrase that. Have you killed Pete Richardson? No. Would you kill Pete Richardson? No. Could you kill Pete Richardson? No. Might you kill Pete Richardson? Not at all. What if you killed Pete Richardson? I don't even know how to answer uh, that. So you don't want to answer my question now. Seems like you're hiding something. Ooh, what's that? You look a little frightened. Did you kill Pete Richardson? No. Did you kill Pete Richardson? No. Did you kill Pete Richardson? No. Did you not kill Pete Richardson? Yes. Did you not not kill Pete Richardson? No. Is your name David? Yeah. Yeah. Did you kill Pete Richardson? Yes. W wait, no. No, no, that's not, that's not what I mean. We got it, boys. So, what's your zodiac sign? <laughs> well. I'll give you three guesses. Oh, that's so something a cancer would say. Not a cancer, but keep guessing. Uh, really, you really seem like a cancer to me. Uh, nope, I just said I'm, I'm, I'm not a cancer. Uh, are you sure you're not a cancer? No, I was born in January. Are, are you trying to tell me something? You have cancer. You want to know my zodiac sign? Hey, do you know what the time is? Time to get a watch. Time to get a new joke. Time to get a girlfriend. I'm working on it! Hi, I'm here for the job interview. Perfect, take a seat. Here's the situation. 
The police just entered the building, so we'll be in this room in about 30 seconds. So this is a one-time only job offer. See him? That's Bob. Bob's a piece of shit. That right, Bob. <laughs> F you, Bob. Why is he tied up? We don't have time for you to talk. Bob is our accountant. Bob is also my brother-in-law. He cheated on my sister, so he'll do whatever I tell him to. Here, Bob, draw a penis on your face. Bob also embezzled a million dollars from the government last year in tax fraud, vis-a-vis -vis cops downstairs. Now the thing is, I need Bob. I need Bob bad. I can blackmail him to do whatever I want, so I want to keep Bob around. But I still need a fall guy. Ignore them. Eyes. Right here. Here's the job. You take the fall, you go to jail for a year. Cushy jail, though, not murder jail. You play tennis, do therapy, get real good at chess. And at the end of one year, you're let out and we pay you $500,000. You got five seconds to choose. Five, four, um, three, two, I'll do it. One. Bingo. He's in here. Did he say yes? We got a new employee. I like your initiative, kid. Welcome to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> All right, just read that first line for me. I good am yep. scared of. What? Next line. Wow, uh, I'm not saying that. Can't read that one? I can read it, it's the N word. I'm not gonna say it. Oh, well, I guess you need glasses. Have a good day. You too. Oh, Niagara. Hey, boss, uh, I was just wondering, am I getting that promotion we've been talking about? Oh, Steve, I, of course, you're my best employee. Steve's definitely not getting that promotion. What? What? You, you just looked at the wall and said I wasn't getting that promotion. <laughs> no, I didn't. I totally just did that. Oh, uh, you did it again. Did what again? Okay, now you're just playing dumb and it's really pissing me off. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, I did. And if Steve's pissed off about this, he wouldn't want me to tell him about me eating his lunch. <laughs> what? You're the one who ate my lunch? How many other things have you not told me? Nothing. I swear, that's it. That's definitely not it. I was also the one who wrote That's What Abortion Is For in his truck after his son came out as a furry. You wrote That's What Abortion Is For in my truck? Seriously? Go ahead. Tell me something else. I guess I shouldn't tell him about how I slept with his wife either. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I have horrible news. What's going on? What's wrong? I don't know how to tell you. Okay, just calm down and tell me. Okay, you might want to sit for this. Okay. Someone stole all our chairs! I can't believe you got another girl pregnant. You should learn from your brother Chris. He parties every weekend and has gotten zero girls pregnant. Chris, tell your brother how you stay safe. I f*** guys. Mom, it's grandma. Are you gonna knock the next time you just come in my room? You know what? That was rude. I'm sorry. Uh, let's try again. Now you can come in. Okay. Grandma's having a heart attack. Johnny and Marissa sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes an abrupt and tragic miscarriage, then comes blame, then comes despair. Two hearts damaged beyond repair. Johnny leaves Marissa and takes the tree. D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Hey, you must be the new guy. My name's Tom Richardson. Oh, nice to meet you, Tom. Bend over. Excuse me? Bend over. Listen, buddy, I don't just bend over for people I just met, okay? I don't even know your name. Bend over. You stay away from me, man, okay? Top six ways to tell your friend you're in love with them. Number one, take him for a drive. This way the setting is just you and him and the intimacy is at an all-time high. What's, what's going on? Ask him to create something with you, whether it's a video, a TikTok, a song, any sort of creative thing will get the juices flowing. I don't, I don't, what, what's Number five, when the scene is set, it's time to make your move. Just go for it. Put all the balls on the table and just go for it. Hey, whoa, hey, Max, what are you, hey? And just like that, you're in love. Because it worked. Because it worked. You have one more wish. One more wish? I, I, I don't even know what to think of. Dude, think of all the good we could do with this one wish. World peace, end world hunger, no more war. You're right. Genie, I'm ready for my last wish. Go on. I wish for an anime girlfriend. Hey Siri, how do you say seal in French? Fuck. Fuck. This is a cute baby fuck with his ugly motherfucker. Hey Siri, how do you say seal in French? Fuck. Fuck. This is a cute baby fuck with his ugly motherfucker. Today we're all gonna describe our dream jobs. Yay. Keisha, you go first and then Michael. What is it, Keisha? A lawyer. Oh, that's great. Michael, what about you? A Canadian bad testicle collector. Wonderful. Charlie, what the fuck? 
A what? A Canadian bat testicle collector. How much do they pay? They pay enough. Do your parents know about My father was a part of my first collection. I thought you said a bat testicle collection. Yeah, when you can't find no bats, what you do? You take your father's nuts. You take your father's nuts. <laughs> I want to be a Canadian bat testicle collector. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Mommy, guess what? I just got my first period. Honey, that's ridiculous. Boys don't get periods. Oh yeah? Well then why is there blood coming out my ass? <coughs> you know, it's probably the gerbil we put in there. The fucking what? Stay with me. Stay with me. Tell my son. Yes? I'm disappointed. Is that it? You sure you want that to be your last message? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's just I have to deliver that, and that's not really... Promise me. Okay, yeah, sure. He says he's disappointed. Wow, okay. Who took my food? Jason! That was me 10 minutes ago. I was mad, but friendship is more important. That was me 15 seconds ago. Screw it. Jason! Hey, why aren't koalas considered bears? Because they're marsupials. Because they're marsupials. No. It's because they don't have the right qualifications. Yeah, well, no one cares about your fat, ugly kid. I care about my fat, ugly kid. Yeah, well, then why in dick's fuck is he eating store brand chips? <gasps> Get over it! Where did you get those? Samson's house! Who the fuck is Samson? My friend! You don't have any friends! Alright, I got it at the grocery store! You went without me! And I'll do it again! Oh my god! What's wrong, Blind Adam? Fucking Stacy. Oh no, what happened? She said it's over. Damn, man, I'm sorry. It's cool. I'll be okay. Did she say why she was breaking up with you? She sure did. W what was the reason? She said I'm always looking at other girls. Wait a minute. Who are you? What? Who are you calling? What are, what are you? What are you doing? Are you? Are you calling? Are you calling? What is, what are you Hello? doing? Stacy? Yeah. Bitch, I am blind. That's them, officer. That's the person who's British, unironically. Take them away. <laughs> Shit. Charles, they found us. I am aware. Deploy the accents. Of course. Oui, oui. Uh -huh. Aha. Mon ami. Bonjour. Charlie. Hola. Uh -uh. Hey son, can you uh, take out the trash? Oh yeah, mom. Of course. Let me just uh, finish up this essay real quick. Huh? I asked you to do one thing, but it's all right. It's cool. But when I'm dead, buried, deceased, gone, you're gonna miss me. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, hey, Mark. Oh, my God. You scared me, dude. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. What? Are you looking at pictures of furs on your laptop or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Just doing some homework, man. How did you know that? Who's that? Is that your girlfriend? Did you wet the bed again? <laughs> no. How the hell did he know that? Oh, uh, that's for me. Hi. Yes. Thank you. Finally. What'd you get? Oh, um, it's it's nothing, dude. What? Did you get something weird, like a portrait of Danny DeVito? <laughs> no. That would be weird, though. How in the world did he know that? So, uh, do you have any plans today? Why do you ask? Uh, just curious. What? Are you are you planning on assassinating me or something? <laughs> As if. How the hell did he know? Loading basement. Oh my god, Kyle, where have you been? Two NPCs to my left. What did he say? Ever since his mom died a month ago, he's been in denial. He thinks he's in a video game. Kyle, I know it hurts, but you have to come to terms with your mother's death. I am aware NPC 179 has despawned. Uh, no, she's dead. Oh. Deceased. Health has decreased by 10%. Kyle, you're not in a video game. NPCs have become self-aware, initiating creative mode. Oh no, I just fell in love with someone I saw on the internet and imagined an entire relationship with them. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop doing this. What's up, bro? How's it going? Uh, not doing so good. My, uh, grandma just passed away. I I'm so sorry, man. I, I, I didn't know. You're good, bro. You're good. Did she live a long life? Not really. She was only 69. She died yesterday at 420 p.m. <laughs> Hold up. You're laughing? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, so you think this is funny? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. So what are you gonna be for Halloween? Uh, I'm thinking Batman. You? How about I show you? Oh, sure. Okay. Huh? Milk? 
Why milk? Because maybe it'll lure my dad to come back home. I, I don't think that's gonna work. Yes, he will. My dad left to get the milk and he couldn't find it. Now I'm the milk, so he's gonna come back. Bro, he's not coming. No, you're wrong. Dad, I'm milk. Come here. I'm milk. Son? Dad? Son! <laughs> Dad! What the fuck? If your leg get cut off, would it hurt? Duh! How though? Cause your leg got cut off, fool. Where you gonna feel the pain? In your leg. Exactly, bro. How you gonna feel the pain in your leg if your, your leg, leg is, is gone? gone? Hello, I'm calling from room 252 and I'd like to order a sandwich. Hello, I'm calling from- okay, I can do this. I can do this. Hello? I'm a sandwich. How long do I have, doctor? A month at best. But on the bright side, you're lucky that you have these moments. Little Jimmy here is going to die in three days. You think you're f***ing better than me? Think you can beat me? Watch. F***, he's f***! Hey man, I hear your wife's pregnant. What? Yeah, congratulations, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> Whoa, no, 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 she, she's not. Oh, um, are you sure? No, I'm Chris. What did you just say? I don't know. I wasn't listening. Okay, dude, just stay calm. Where's my phone, Chris? I need to call her. Where's my fucking phone? Hey, Dad, I just got a five headshot kill streak. Oh, wow. I'm proud of you, little man. Good job. Thanks, Dad. So you're gonna let your child play those types of video games? Yeah, so? Aren't they a little too violent? Yeah, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm not gonna let my child grow up as a prude. Hey, Dad, I just found a cool sword and I started chopping people's heads off. That's awesome, little man. Keep it up. Don't you think that's gonna, like, Mess them up in the future? That's a myth. There's absolutely no connection between violent kids and violent video games. Hey, Dad, I joined the cult. Hey, hey what? Now I'm harvesting the blood of our firstborn children to please our masters. Uh, okay, what game is that? Hey, stop, bro. <laughs> it's just a stupid video game. Hey, Dad, now I'm a ruthless dictator. I just convinced my army to commit mass genocide and discover new ways to torture our victims. Uh, okay, little man, it's time for bed. No more video games for the night. Hey dad, I couldn't go to sleep, but I remember staring into my victim's eyes and watching their soul leave their body. And I don't have insomnia. Are you proud of me, dad? Dad? Are you proud of me? Dad? Are you, are you proud of me? Hey dude, what are you doing? Oh, hey, nothing. Uh, I'm doing nothing. That's the most suspicious nothing I've ever heard. But it's true. What's behind that door? What? What? This one? Yeah, that one. Air? Uh-huh. What else? More air. All right, I'm checking. Whoa! Oh, no, no, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Why? Uh, because it's, uh, it's really embarrassing. All right, cool. I'm your best friend, so I'm sure you'll be fine to show me, right? Okay, good. Ah, no! If you check behind this door, our friendship is at risk. Whoa. Okay, now you're freaking me out. What the hell is behind this door, dude? It doesn't matter, okay? Just please leave. Yeah, you don't have a choice now. I'm checking. Alright Simp Nation, that is it for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you made it this far, you already know. Go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, hit it real nice and good for me. Come on. Hit it. I'm waiting. You just watched my entire 10 minute video. And you're not going to hit the like button. Tyler. Tyler Martin. Hit the like button. Impossible. We have your family, Tyler. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We snatched them in the middle of the night while you were sleeping, Tyler. Oh, that's not true. You never noticed. Mom! Now hit the like button. <laughs> Imagine if there's actually someone named Tyler Martin watching this right now. That would be crazy. All right, guys, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed This is a POV of you and I on a brunch date. No! Oh my god, what the fuck? No! I forgot to mention, in this POV, you just shot my dad in the face. Why would you do that? He didn't do anything to you! Hell, this is ridiculous! Hey, hey, what's wrong? There's this song that it stuck in my head, but it's nowhere to be found. I cannot find it anywhere. All right, what does it sound like? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know that song. Yeah, and so I can't find that anywhere. No matter what I look up, I, I cannot find it. All right, well, what'd you search for? The song. I, I swear, it's, it's like they're hiding it from me. I just...
Hey, hey, where are you going? Dude, hey, hey, we haven't found the song yet. What are you doing? What do we haven't found the song yet? I'm gonna go to bed early. I'm not gonna stay up doing random things. I'm gonna go to bed early. Fuck! You will need to be seated in a brace position. Brace. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, Dave. So, nobody on your planet uses math? Nope, never heard of it. Okay. Say, what is math anyway? Well. Okay, so let me get this straight. You guys spend all day just writing these weird freaky symbols? Are you in a cult? No, it's for science. Math is the language of the universe. Well, apparently the universe had a stroke because this is nonsense. How did your kind achieve space travel without performing the necessary calculations? It's a rocket. You blow some stuff up and it shoots you into space. It's not that hard. Oh my God, you even write it on the wall. Like a psycho. Well, that's a whiteboard. We use it so we can teach children. You do this in front of kids? It's a boy. Wait. Why isn't he crying? Oh, can I see him? Congratulations, my- What the fuck?! <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> that was the Antichrist. That was definitely the Antichrist. That was not normal. Let's start with you. What's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Diego. Hi, hi Diego. Diego. Tell us about the last time you felt anxious or uncomfortable. About five seconds ago, when you asked me my name. Tell us about the last time you felt relaxed and at ease. Um, like ten minutes ago, when I was not here. Do you often find yourself having trouble talking to strangers? Not really, no. Just mainly scary white ladies asking me questions. I see. Why white ladies? Because they're scary. And why are they scary? Because they're white. Thank you for sharing, Diego. I think that was extremely rude. Interesting. And what's your name? Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, Hi Sarah. Sarah. I think it's so unfair to make such a bold generalization. I happen to be kind, smart, and extremely humble. So keep your offensive thoughts to yourself, okay, buddy? Yeah, like I said, scary. My first question. Are you the killer? No. Really? Yes. Killer said what? What? Got him! We got him! Guilty! Guilty! If you sneeze, and I say God bless you, the only thing you should say is thank you. I don't need to hear all of this. How did you get in my house? Why is my window broken? I'm calling the police. Ain't nobody got time for that. Be hey, son. Yeah, Dad? Uh, me and your mom need to talk with you. So, be in the living room. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. It's just, uh, um, could I finish this game first? I'm so close. Sure, but uh, make it quick, okay? <laughs> you got it. My time has come. They figured out I'm not the innocent Christian boy they thought I was. What a shame. Years of secrets all comes down to this. It was a good run, but whatever they know about me now is irrelevant. I must use these final moments to my advantage. With only two years till my 18th birthday, victory is practically in the palm of my hands. I've tried my best to be the good guy, but I did what I had to do. I was cautious, but unfortunately nobody's perfect. Why must life be so cruel? Why must I have to face this alone? Whatever happens next is for fate to decide. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to protect. I am an open book. But at what cost? That we will see. You needed me? Grandma died. <laughs> yes! What? Yo, I'll f you up, man. Yeah. You don't know me. You don't know Mike, I know. You don't know what I've been through. Yeah, he's been through it. I grew up with nothing. He had nothing then, he got nothing now. Yo, chill, chill. Hey, listen, Shut I- Shut up. I don't take shit from no from one. From no one. You haven't seen what i seen. You ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, and He's my best friend. I don't know about all that. Besties for life. I've only known you for two weeks. Best two weeks of my life. This is getting weird, man. So, do you want me to park your car? I love my wife for you. All right, you know what's up. Three wishes, three rules. I can't make anyone fall in love with you, I can't bring back the dead, and you can't wish for more wishes. I wish the age of consent was 12. Four rules! I am a genie. You have three wishes. Wow, I have the perfect wish. So this is my girlfriend, and she's blind, but we've been together a long time, and I just wish she could see the world. So I wish my girlfriend could see. You know what? That's a pretty good wish. Done. Wow! Well, wait, Gabe, that's what you look like? <laughs> you are not my type. Ooh, he's cute though. What's your name? Hi, I'm the genie. I'm Katie. 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what are you doing later? You texted your boyfriend to say, I love you, and he just replied with, love you. Well, here's he gonna get him back. Step one, you're gonna ask your boyfriend if he's ever seen a dead body, because it's your granddad's open casket funeral this weekend, and you'd like your boyfriend to come along with you. He was really a wonderful, wonderful man. Step two, you arrive at the funeral, say hi to the family, make your way over to your granddad's coffin, tell your boyfriend you will literally break up with him if he doesn't give your granddad a little goodbye kiss on the forehead, and just as your boyfriend leans in for that little goodbye kiss, you smash your boyfriend over the head with an urn, shove him into your granddad's coffin, and slam the casket shut. Listen here, you stinky little weasel. You're gonna tell me you love me, and you're gonna say it like you mean it. Or you'll spend the rest of your days six feet under the ground with my dead little granddad. And trust me, mate, he was boring when he was alive. So it's gonna be a hell of a lot more boring now that he's dead. What's it gonna be, Mr. Boyfriend? Are you gonna tell me that you love me? Or are you gonna spoon my little granddad in his coffin until your oxygen runs out and you shake your pants and die? Boom! Step three, your boyfriend screams out from inside the coffin, says, I love you properly, instead of just love you. You simply let him out of the coffin, bury your granddad, and enjoy the rest of your granddad's funeral. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. Hubby, I'm tired. Oh, you tired? Wanna take a nap on my chest? Yes, please. Here, you can use my chest as a pillow to rest your cute face. You are so sweet, cotton swab. You are sweeter, sugar booger. Can you get the difference between best friends and regular friends? Best friends can get away with a lot more than regular friends can. For instance, if I'm eating something and you know I'm about to finish it and it's like the last bite and my best friend goes and it falls out my hand, I'm gonna laugh. But now if my friend does that, oh, I might just kill you. Hey, teacher, when are we actually gonna use any of this? You? <laughs> Never. We're gonna change all your passwords to something new. Okay, cool. What do you want it to be? Um, tequila? You can't make it so obvious, man. It's gotta be something I can remember, though, you know? And I never forget tequila. Unless I drink too much tequila, then I forget everything. What's your wife's name? Whoa, 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 whoa. relax. Why are we bringing her into this? It's gotta be something other than tequila. What's your favorite word? Um, tequila. No shit. What's your favorite food? Um, frozen tequila. What's your favorite color? What color is tequila? What's your favorite song? I really like that song that goes, um, da -na -da -na 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 -da -da. Well, what's that one called? Okay, what about your favorite movie? Oh, I just saw this really, really good Netflix documentary um, about tequila. Let's just make it tequila spelled backwards, cool? Oh, okay, yeah. That, that's not confusing at all. And you're all set. Hey? Yep, all your passwords are updated. Even Netflix? Yep. Disney Plus? Yep. Pornhub? Yep. You sure about the Pornhub one? There is a snake in your bathtub! Oh, yeah, that's my pet snake, Ron. I have a pet Why do you name him Ron? I named him after Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. Why didn't you just name him after the snake that's in the movie? Yeah, I thought Ron was a cooler name. Okay, anyway, you're lucky he's not venomous because he could have killed me. Oh, no, he is venomous. You have a venomous snake in your bed? Why is he not in a cage? He hasn't bitten anyone yet. Oh. Well, how long have you had him for? I bought him like two and a half hours ago. Boy, I'm gonna beat your ass. Hey, that last piece is mine. Look out, a murderer! What? Oh! You better watch it, buddy. Holy shit, sorry! I need people to understand that if I text you H E H E, it's not <laughs> it's <laughs> it is not <laughs> it's <laughs> Hey, dude. Tell me a scary story. What? No. Come on, please. Did I hear scary story? Who the hell are you? Just a man who would like to share a scary story with two young boys. Okay, go ahead. It goes like this. Two boys were sitting alone at night talking about scary stories. Wow, that sounds familiar. All of a sudden, a strange man walked up to them and asked them if he could tell a scary story. Very familiar. Unfortunately, this man was a convicted felon. What? But the boys forgot to bring their phones that night. And after the man was done telling his story, he pulled out his weapon. Boom! Boom! They could have survived that night. If only they would have brought their mobile devices like their dad told them to. Bring your phone next time. Alright. Hey, you boys have fun. Yo. Wanna ding dong ditch a completely random house? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Which one should we do? Uh let's do that one. How oh, bud? 
Doesn't look like anyone's going to show up to your birthday party this year. Again. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know. Hey, but maybe next year. Yeah. Probably not. But hey, at least we got all this birthday cake to ourselves now, right? Yeah, that's true, I guess. And you did get chocolate cake again this year. I'm still allergic to chocolate, but... Yeah. Hey, Dad, I was just wondering if you wanted to go outside and toss around the... Hey, Dad, I was just uh, wondering if you wanted to go outside and play some catch. You got this. You got this. <sighs> Sorry, bit. Sorry, buddy, I'm just really busy right now. I'd love to, buddy. Sorry, but I'm just really busy right now. Does anybody else have anything they want to say to Brother Don? I'll go. Hey, Don, this is your classmate, Judy. And honestly, I kind of liked it, you. And you always nice. And to be honest, if you were still alive, I'd probably let you hit right now. Oh, hell oh, no. Whoa, 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 what's he doing? Uh -uh, girl, he up now. He's back from the dead. Now it's time to give him. Bruh, you remember our third grade teacher, Miss Jackson? Uh, yeah, I remember her. Remember every beginning of the class, she'd be saying, here you go, baby. And she'd be giving us candy. I remember them days. She was so sweet. But remember how she'd be helping us on all the tests and everybody in the classroom passed? That's the reason why I passed third grade. She was so helpful. And, uh, remember at every time at the end of school, if we didn't have a ride, she always takes us home. But on our way home, we'd be getting McDonald's. Ooh, I remember that. She was so, boy, she was like a mother to me. Boy, I love her. But guess what, though? What? She did. Why you had to do it? Would you rather speak every language or be able to speak to every a speak every language? Could you imagine how hard? I got a wife and kids, man. You don't have I'm to so do sorry. this. I'm so sorry. Richard, I'm... kill it. Just kill it already. Please, I swear, I won't hurt you. It won't hurt you. I swear. And how do you know, huh? It's not like you could speak to the thing. Yeah, well, uh, about that. Who wants to play uh, Two Truths, One Lie? <gasps> Ooh, me. What's that? It's basically where you tell your friends two truthful statements and one lie, and they have to guess what the lie was. Uh, here, I'll go first. Michael, uh, my favorite food is pizza, I hate Game of Thrones, and I love Fortnite. Uh, the Fortnite one's a lie, because you hate Fortnite. Yeah, you got it. That one was too easy. Ooh, okay, my turn, my turn. All right, go. Uh, I hate anime, sometimes I speak to myself for hours on end, and I'm the one who ran over Michael's cat. Well, obviously you didn't run over Michael's cat, so... Yeah. Ha! Wrong! Yes! Ah, what a piece of cake. Too easy, guys. Jimmy, that's not okay. You ran over Michael's cat. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Oh, 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 I got another one. Uh, no, I think we should stop now. Uh, really... I slept with your girlfriend. I poisoned your drink. And our old friend Sam didn't really go missing. He's actually buried in my backyard. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. Oh, thank God. All three of those were truths. You know, I really like this game. Psst. Want some drugs? Depends. You sell them? Depends. You buy them? Depends. You a cop? Depends. Are you a cop? No. Well, all right then. All right. You're under arrest! Hey, what's that guy doing? Oh, uh, that guy's schizophrenic. Right now, he's driving. Wait, so he really thinks he's driving? Yep, everything's real to him. What's he doing now? He just stepped into an elevator. Say it! I don't want to. Say it! <laughs> Two best friends in a row. They might kiss. Good. <laughs> yes, we will. Now kiss. I don't, I don't, I don't want- Kiss! <laughs> <laughs> so, if your cousin's stolen your trainers and you want to get them back, well, here's what you're going to do. Step one, you're going to plan a little vacation somewhere with a big f***ing mountain. Somewhere like Ben Nevis, which is a big old mountain somewhere in the UK. I don't know where it is. I don't really care where it is. You're just going to have to figure that out and go there with your cousin. But you're also going to bring someone else. Your grandma. What your cousin didn't realize while stealing your trainers is that you guys share the same grandma. And that innocent little grandma you share will now become a powerful tool in your plot to return your trainers. Hmm. You take your cousin and your nan to Ben Nevis. And when you get there, you plan a little picnic. At the peak of the mountain. Then you and your cousin are going to wheel your grandma to the very top of that mountain, pull out the picnic basket, ask your cousin to start preparing the sandwiches, and roll your grandma right to the very f***ing edge. You're going to flick down your shades, turn on your Bluetooth speaker, and sing the following. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Oh, 
I'll push Nan off this mountain if you don't give me my trainers. Then you're just gonna sit back and relax while your cousin gives you your trainers back, jump on the back of your nan's wheelchair and skateboard down the side of the mountain like Tony Hawks. My trainers. Man, who's this? Oh, hey, this is Jimmy. Uh, he's a little socially awkward, but he's a good guy. Nice to meet you, Jimmy. Likewise, how's your day? Honestly, uh, it's not too good. My mom just passed away, so. Bruh. <gasps> Jimmy, what the hell? Oh my, are you serious? Come on, guys. That was not the right moment to do that, Jimmy. But his mom died. That's a bra moment. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. Jimmy, how dare you? Jimmy, you need to apologize right now. Oh, hell now. no. You guys are sensitive as hey, hell. Hey, asshole. She fell off a cliff, man. Yeah, and she should have had feather falling. What? Jimmy, take it back. No, that's funny. Take that's it back. That's funny. Did you Jimmy, see that? Put the word back in your mouth, Jimmy. Oh, I'm not that. I'm calling 911. Is that too much? Is that too much for you? And something a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. Rob. Naked grandma. Naked, huh? <laughs> I don't want to see that either. Okay, so someone stole your water bottle at the gym. Well, here's how you're going to get it back. Step one, you're going to strip naked, go to the showers, and lather yourself up in shower gel. You're going to need a lot. So head to the lockers, check if any of them are still open, and grab as much shower gel as you can. Step two, you're going to lock every single door inside of that gym. Now, you need to be quick because you're naked, but I believe in you. Step three, you're going to light a match and hold it up to the smoke detector, and then scream, fire, fire. Everyone's gonna burn alive! Boom. The staff will now set off the sprinkler system in the ceiling. This should quickly soak the ground and everything around it. Now step four, you're gonna lather yourself with the shower gel underneath the sprinkler system. Run as fast as you can and dive into the ground. Bang! You smash into their legs at 60 miles per hour, causing them to fold and crumble before you. You then grab your water bottle with one hand and use your other hand to grab a piece of gym equipment and swing using your momentum out of an open window. And you then land perfectly on both feet, water bottle in hand, and walk yourself home. Well done, my friend. Mission complete. You want some cheese? Oh, no thanks. It doesn't agree with me. No, trickle down economics doesn't work. It's been Yeah, he's arguing with the cheese again. The benefits never flow down. I don't know, they're both making good points. <laughs> what are you doing in my house? What are you doing in my house? I want waffle fries. If you have 10 cookies and someone asks for two, how many do you have? 10. Okay, what if someone forcefully takes two cookies? Well, then what do you have? Ten and a dead body. So your girlfriend's stolen your favorite sweatshirt. Well, here's how you're gonna get it back. Step one, you're gonna tell your girlfriend to pack her fucking bags. You've just bought two tickets to the Amalfi Coast and the plane leaves tonight. Time for a cheeky Vikai. Step two, you're checking at the airport, get yourself a little Mackie D's, try every single one of the duty-free perfumes, don't buy any of them, and then board your flight. And now, the games begin. Step three, you gently caress your girlfriend's head until she falls asleep. That's right, little girlfriend, you go night-night now. And then, you're gonna grab every single pair of airplane headphones you can find, glue them to the back of her mobile phone, and strap that to her chest while she sleeps. Then, jump out of your chair and shout, Help me, Jesus, there's a terrorist on this plane and I do not want to die today. If somebody doesn't take her down right now, we're all going home in body bags. Boom! Step four, the pilot jumps out of the cabin and apprehends your terrorist girlfriend. You just grab your sweatshirt, smash a window, jump out of that plane and use your sweatshirt as a parachute all the way down to safety. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. But your neighbor's stolen your recycling bin and now you want it back. Well, here's what you're gonna do. Step one, you're gonna call your neighbor and tell them there's a female blunder wolf let loose in the local area. You're gonna tell them a blunder wolf is a half female, half wolf lizard hybrid that recently escaped a German science lab. It's basically been going around tearing people into blitherines. And if you wanna survive, I'm gonna have to come and border up your house, okay? Boom. Step two, you go around his house and border up every window and every door until it's completely pitch black inside. And once it is, you strike. <laughs> You sprint through the house at top speed, screeching like the legendary Blunderwolf. You load yourself off the kitchen table and latch onto your neighbor's back. Nah, Blunderwolf hungry. Your neighbor immediately cries out, Please, Blunderwolf, please don't kill me. Tell me what you need. The recycling bins, the recycling bins, that's the only way. Your neighbor's heart pounds through his chest as he races to the garage. He opens the garage door, grabs the recycling bin and throws it outside. You then launch off his back out of the garage and grab the recycling bin and then boom. You just get the recycling bin, put it out the front of your house, and then carry out your day as normal. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. Your girlfriend keeps stealing all the covers at night. Well, here's how you're gonna get them back. Step one, you're gonna take your girlfriend to the slaughterhouse because you've just bought two sirloin steaks for dinner and you need to pick them up ASAP. Dinner's on me tonight, babe. Step two, you arrive at the slaughterhouse, say hi to the butcher, ask to have a look around back and accidentally lock yourself and your girlfriend inside the giant meat freezer. You then open your backpack, pull out a big double duvet bed cover and tell your girlfriend it looks like you have no choice but to try and survive the night, okay? Step three, you and your girlfriend snuggle up in the duvet bed covers and 
just as she drifts off into a peaceful slumber. You spin your cell 360 like a fork in a bowl of spaghetti. And there the covers from your girlfriend so she freezes in the dark of night. Your girlfriend begs you to return the cover. Do you see how it feels now, girlfriend? Do you see how it feels to be left frozen in the dark of night? This is how it feels. Boom. And then your girlfriend simply promises to never steal the covers again. You two shake hands, wait for the butcher to come and free you from the giant meat freezer, and go home with a smile on your face. Justice has been served. Today I'm going to be showing you how to pick a lock like this with just an ordinary paper clip. This is really uh, good for any of those times when you leave your keys inside, or um, your parents uh, accidentally lock you out. <laughs> All right, Dad, I get it. All right, let's try the back. Lock that fuck! Do you mind if we go inside? I keep getting bitten. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, watch out. Oh, fuck off, Jerry! Hey, do you know what the time is? Time to get a watch. Time to get a new joke. Time to get a girlfriend. I'm working on that! Hey, so are you always this shy in person? No, I'm not. I'm feeling you out right now. I'm trying to determine if you're cool enough to see how fucking annoying I actually am. Hey buddy. Hey dad. Uh, I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to play some catch later? Sorry buddy, I'm just about to make a call. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey pops, listen. How about a game of catch this weekend? What do you mean you're busy? Well, I don't want to play with him either, but he's got no friends. <laughs>